Hardships are meant to be shared. Ah, the vanilla orchids smell lovelier than usual. Ginger Brave. Black Raisin Cookie! I just love my bed at the inn. I've never slept so well. Glad to hear it. It's been a while since the council started. Yeah, but the longer it goes on, the more complicated it gets. Pure Vanilla Cookie seems weary. Sad to see him in this state, given how happy he was to finally meet his friends. He must have a lot on his plate. Pure Vanilla Cookie always took good care of us. Isn't there anything we could do for him? I'm worried. I'm sure the others are worried too. I'm gonna go and find out what they think. Hollyberry Cookie? Are you there? Oh ho! Come in! Wildberry Cookie and I were in the middle of a game of chess. And I'm so glad that you came. Because I hate to lose. <laughs> the council will begin soon. How are you holding up? Ah, that's right. We have a council to go to. I hope this one ends without a fight. Huh. Mm, council clotted cream cookie keeps making things complicated. Oh, don't even get me started. That cookie's up to something. I'll bet my last barrel of juice on that. Still, not so long ago I met my granddaughter, Princess Cookie. You remember her, right? Someday she will have to lead the Hollyberry Kingdom into the future. And you know what I thought? I don't want her to inherit all these Soul Jam Wars from us. Isn't it our duty to do all in our power so that the future generations can live in peace? <sighs> a difficult choice. Is it not? <laughs> Perhaps a glass of juice before the council session will help me decide. Absolutely not, my lady. You will need a clear head more than ever. Uh, you are just one big walking rule book. Ah. Ginger Brave, to what do I owe your visit? Just thought I'd take this chance to see you before the council starts. Ah, uh, the council. Mark my words, I will not hold back this time. To share our soul jam. Outrageous. I will not fall victim to the scheming of this deceitful clotted cream cookie. I get that. After all, your sword has a special meaning for you. Even more so after what happened. Mm hmm. What is it you are trying to say? I, um, I only wanted to say that you and Dark Choco Cookie, because of your sword, you know. I am ashamed of what you had to witness. Ah, Ginger Brave, good morning. Hi, can I come in? Of course. How could I refuse a visit from one of my dearest friends? Sit down. I have just prepared a fresh pot of tea. Fancy a cup? Thanks! I am glad that you came. You see, there is something I wanted to tell you. What Clotted Cream Cookie said yesterday. Without a doubt, his proposition caught everyone by surprise. But... But I think what he said was not entirely without merit. More than once have I seen the closest of friends become bitter enemies due to a greed for greater power. When power is in disbalance, it can only bring bitter jealousy and hatred. The power I am speaking of is our soul jam. So you want to do as Clotted Cream Cookie says? I have not decided yet, but it is time everyone heard the truth. At today's council, I will have to make an important confession.
Welcome to the third council meeting, my friends. I sincerely hope that today, we finally come to an accord. If you allow me to begin. Esteemed colleagues, my proposition remains on the table. Have you reconsidered your decisions, if I may ask? There is nothing to reconsider. Under no circumstances will I surrender my soul jam. This little stone has caused far too many tragedies to nonchalantly pass around. He's right. Who else can control such power if not us? With all due respect, it seems like we have a difficult discussion ahead of us. How so? Because my opinion regarding this soul jam conundrum also remains unchanged. You! Enough talking! If you want this power for yourself, just say it loud and clear. Hmm. Perhaps what I'm going to say next will help you understand my logic. A vision of critical importance, if you will. A fact that showed me what can happen when great power is concentrated in the hands of just a few. What is it you're trying to say? I myself was utterly shocked when I heard this. Terrified, even. Yet, it has only reinforced my conviction in the fact that Soul Jam's potential must be shared with everyone. Just get to the point already! Very well. What if I told you that the cookie who inflicted such horrors upon the cookie world was one of the ancient heroes? Dark Enchantress Cookie, formerly known as White Lily Cookie. What did you just say? Uh, are you? Uh, you! Uh, I don't believe you! This is impossible! But it is true. One of the five craved for more and more power only to become a harbinger of the darkness in the end. Dark Enchantress Cookie desires to rebuild this world in her own image. To that end, she requires the power of Soul Jam. Soul Jam. The receptacle for a noble soul, yes. Yet, regardless, a source of tremendous, concentrated energy. Energy capable of building one kingdom from the ground up, and reducing another to ashes and rubble. But power can corrupt. It spawns greed. Greed leads to arrogance, and arrogance can lead even the wise and noble of us to the bitterest of ends. And the shadows of great power are those coveting it, wishing to challenge its owners. Can you keep your power safe indefinitely? This is why it is critical that our Krim Republic, uncorrupted by power, takes the lead of this campaign. This is why there is no other option but to share your soul jam. The more power is grasped, the more it slips away. You are not holding your ground against the chaos. Your stubbornness will be sowing its seeds. Wars, cruel conflicts born out of desire for power. All such grief is born from those that crave strength, those who desire to challenge the balance. The histories of your kingdom serve as perfect examples of this tragic pattern. Lastly, permit me to remind you that Dark Enchantress Cookie herself started the Dark Flower War because of her obsession with the power of your soul jam. Once called a noble, ancient hero, even she was unable to restrain her own greed. Shut your poisonous mouth, 
this instant. Stop! Out of my way! I will not allow you to pass. Listen to the voice of reason! Reason? How dare you? Another proof to my point. I see you are no different from Dark Enchantress, Cookie. Unwilling to part with your precious power. Uh -huh. 